19,937. Can you imagine why that special 19,937? Any guesses? Well, I saw the heading on your cheek. Oh, mate. yeah? Yeah. Why, why what's, what's, what's so special about it? <laughs> is it a circular prime? Oh yeah, it is a circular prime. But what is a circular prime? 19,937 is a prime number. But so is 99,371. And so is 93,719. Where I've rotated the number again. And so is 37,100. And 99, that is a prime number as well. And so is 71,993. All those rotations, they're all prime numbers. That is a circular prime. Yeah, it depends on the base. We're just doing it for fun. But uh, let's see if we can find some more circular primes. Are there an infinite number of circular Who primes? Who knows? Who knows? I know. Let's find out. These are the boring circular primes. Two, three, five, seven. Boring. Because they're one digit. You rotate them, it's the same number. Right, fine. Here, there are some other boring ones. Uh, 11 is quite boring too. Rotate it, it's 11 again. Ah, right. You would get the same effect if we had 22, 33, 44, but those aren't primes, are they? Because 22 divisible by 2, 33 divisible by 3. Right, so 11 is quite boring. 111, what about that? It would be boring, but it's not a prime. Oh. Yeah, so 111 is 3 times 37. So, okay, so not a prime, fine. So what are the boring primes? That's just ones, I guess. Uh, the next boring one it has 19 ones. It's one quintillion. 111 quadrillion, 111 trillion, 111 billion, 111 million, 111,111. That's not a boring number, but it is a boring circular prime. Exactly. It's, oh, it's not a boring number. I totally agree. That's actually really interesting. But for what we're doing today, which is circular primes, it's a boring circular prime. So that's called a rep unit because you're repeating one which is a, another word for unit, right? Rep unit. The next rep unit prime after that has 23 ones. The next rep unit prime after that has 317 ones. The next rep unit prime after that has 1,031 ones. And so on. We've only found 11 rep unit primes. It's possible there's infinitely many of them. We don't know that, actually. That's not a proven thing. We found 11 of them. A rep unit. I, I know. Coincidentally, until we find the next one. But for circular primes, boring. Let's look at some less boring circular primes. We want some more digits, please. Some other digits. Well, we can't have a circular prime with a digit 2 in it. Because at some point, that number is going to get rotated, and that 2 is going to get rotated rotated to the end and that will be an even number for the same reason you can't have a four in it because at some point it'll get rotated to the end six eight zero will also be the same because it'll get rotated to the end at some point five is also not allowed because it'll get rotated to the end it will be divisible by five which means circular primes can only have one three seven and nine in it. So let's try and find some two digit circular primes. I mean, we have the 11, then there's 13, which is a prime. 31, though, is a prime as well. We also have uh, 17, which is prime, rotate it. 71 is a prime as well. 37 is prime, and so is 73. And 79 is a prime. If you rotate it, 97 is a prime as well. Those are the two digit circular primes. I thought 19 was going to be on the list. It's 91 composite. Must be. Must be. It's divisible by 7. If only we had a test to work out if 91 was divisible by 7. But there isn't one, so we'll move on. All right. <laughs> three digit. I mean, where does this yeah. end? Yeah, so let's look at the three digit circular primes. Uh, I'll just write them out. I'll write them out in their lowest terms. 113, which means those rotations are going to be prime. 197. 
337. So that's all the three digits. They're getting rarer. I thought there'd be loads more. Yeah, so not only does your three digit number have to be prime, but you have to think of those rotations as well. And they have to be prime as well. It turns out these numbers are going to get rarer. Ah. So if you think of bigger numbers, not only has it to be prime, which is a rare thing in itself, then all those rotations have to be prime. So, and you're living in a world where primes are becoming more sparse. Exactly, exactly. So the bigger these numbers are getting, the harder it is to satisfy this condition. Ah. They are getting rarer. We think there's an end to this list. Oh. 1,193 and its rotations, 3,779. We've got 11,939, 19,937. That was our one at the start. We've got 193,939, and here's the last one, 199,933. So how big is our list of circular primes? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 13, 15, 3, 4, 19. Plus the reps? Plus those rep units, yes. Which possibly infinitely many, but boring. I'm amazed. I thought, I thought you were going to be pulling all sorts of huge numbers yeah. at me, like phone numbers and things. You know. So the biggest one would have to be... Our uh, last one here, but rotated, because that was written in its lowest terms. 999,331. So we haven't found any bigger than this. Uh, yeah, I picked 19,937 because I thought it was the biggest interesting one because it uses all the digits. The 1, the 3, the 9, the 7. Because if you look at the bigger ones, more repeated digits in those. So that's, that, and that's why I picked my 19,937. So it appears to be a, a finite list. And again, just like we were saying, it just, it just gets harder to find the circular prime. So with bigger numbers, it just becomes a harder condition to satisfy. So these are all the ones we've found so far. What have you got to say to all those people who are in the comments right now saying, Base 10, Bleh. Yeah, it is base 10. Oh, it's just for fun. So you could do this in any base. You could do it in binary. You can do it in other things. It would be just for fun. It is not a property of the number itself. But also, that's what we do. Love it. We can go one step further. So these were circular primes. I was just rotating the digits. What about if I just mix up the digits in any order and still be prime? Can I do that? So, what are they like? Permutational primes? Or... So, they, they're sometimes called permutation primes and they're sometimes called absolute primes, which I prefer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolute primes. So, whatever you do to it, however you mix up those digits, it's still a prime. What about jumble primes? Or... Jumble primes is nice. Yeah, I like it. But, yeah, you know, I, know, I know you love naming things. Because absolute doesn't quite do yeah. what it says on the tin. Yeah, yeah. I know you like naming things, Brady. Yeah. So Jumble Prime? I'll, I'll, expect, I'll expect Wikipedia to be updated <laughs> very soon. <laughs> but absolute primes have to be circular primes because we're allowed to jumble them up anyway, which means they have to be circular primes. The rotations have to work. So they only come from our circular prime list. Hmm which means that there's not going to be very many of them. No, is there? Is there? Other than the, other than the reps? Yeah. Other than the rep units? Other than the rep units. Oh, it's exhausting. Can we just, can we just put an asterisk yeah. up and just say, other than the rep unit primes? And the two-digit primes, obviously. Exactly. So there are, again, the boring ones. Yeah. Single-digit ones would count as absolute primes. Boring. Rep unit primes count. Boring. The two digit primes are kind of boring too because the only jumble, as you said, is the circular prime, is the rotation. Um, so it's only the bigger ones that are interesting. And here they are 113, 199, and 337. 
that is it, which I guess shows you how hard a condition it is to satisfy. So that's it. So the biggest one would be 337, or if we jumble it up, 733. And any order of that would be a prime, although because of that repetition, the, because of the two threes in it, there aren't really that many. There's, there's 337, 373, and 733. And none of those, none of those three mm. that are interesting don't have a double digit in them. Yeah, and that's part of it as well. So it turns out that we're thinking, again, we think this is all there is, but let's say there's a big one somewhere out there that we, we just don't know. We found out, we have worked out, that if it does exist, it will have the form, it will be nearly a rep unit number. It's going to be a number of this form. A, 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 where A some digit. A, A, lots of A's and a B at the end. It can't be any other way. So we've proven that to be true. Where A and B are either 1, 3, 7 or 9. So it's nearly a rep unit prime. Because that's how hard this condition is to satisfy. How did they prove that? That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this might not exist. I mean, we think it doesn't exist. If it does exist, it would be of that form. And we know that it would have to be very big. This number, whatever it is, would have six times 10 to the power of 175 digits. That's not the number itself. That's how many digits it would have. That's the length of the number, or bigger, right? That's how many A's it would have, and then yeah. a B. Yeah, that's how many A's, all those A's, then a B at the end. So the number itself is well, like... Well, the B could be anywhere, because it... Yeah. yeah, and the B basically is getting sort of yeah. rotated through. So it's a circular prime, mm -hmm. I guess, because it's just effectively getting rotated through. And so, uh, yeah, the number itself would be like a, a Googleplex kind of number, right? Just a, a massive number. And it just seems very unlikely if it happens wow amazing but it just seems really unlikely we need a bounty or a prize to the person who finds the biggest ever jumble prime well you can offer a bounty and i tell you what i am so confident let's put this on video yeah why what could go wrong i am so confident i reckon our 337 is going to be our biggest one so uh i will offer uh, a prize what shall my prize be I'm not a rich man. Um, a personal one-on-one -on -one dinner with Dr. Yeah. James Grimes. Yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah personal. And you'll, and you'll pay? Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? So that's the prize on offer. That is the bounty. Find a, a bigger absolute prime. Jumble prime. Find a bigger absolute prime. A dinner for two on me. That's your prize. Wow. What's this I see on Brilliant? A course of advanced number puzzles? Well, yes, please. No matter what you're into or how advanced you are, Brilliant's always going to have something to stimulate, educate and entertain. It could be math, computer science, chemistry, physics, you name it. But I do think number five viewers are going to particularly love these ones. And here's some other stuff from across the site. It's fun, it's clever, it's always really interactive. Great way to learn. You could spend ages doing this. You can try everything on Brilliant for free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org slash number file. There's also a link in the description and of course the QR code there on the screen. There's also a superb offer of 20% off an annual premium subscription by using that link. Check it out people and our thanks to Brilliant for their support of number file. I was so pleased when I got to the end of this, I was like, yep, I knew it had something to do with being one or more or one less than a multiple of six. I did some algebra, I worked it out, I showed some friends of mine, and one of them said, why didn't you do it the easy way? And I was like, ah, uh, you know me, I like to do some algebra. What easy way? 